This is Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and this is a quick and dirty video to answer a question that somebody sent me in the email, William. He said he got his CNC router and had it for a few days, and he still can't figure out where the start button is at. <laughs> so I'm making this video for anybody who's like just getting into this and don't know where the start button's at. If William or you that's watching this video is using Universal G Code Sender or UGS, your screen will look something like this after you install it and move a couple of uh, windows around. I'll do a much more detailed video on UGS later. But here's how this generally works as an overview follow the instructions of your machine. In this case, he has a Bob's CNC. So Bob's CNC instructs how to get the Universal G Code Center, how to figure out your COM port that you'll be using, which is a setting right here, and get that set up appropriately. Sometimes you have to go into the Windows back office control panel deep, deep, deep inside to get that COM port um, feature engaged. So once that's set up, you plug your CNC router in, Make sure the controller on the router is plugged in. And you plug in this little plug. You actually just like click the button. And this will connect to your router. It'll connect the Universal G Code Sender software to your router, which is what we're looking at right here. And this icon will turn a brown color when you are connected. In the display window, you'll get an alarm. It'll be red, and it'll say alarm. However, good news is you're getting an alarm. What you'll do next is right here. It's grayed out because I'm not connected to anything. I can't do it on my computer that I'm on right now. But this is the home machine button. The first thing you'll do is hit that. And this window right here will turn green, and it'll say home in it. And your router will start to move to the home position. Once it's there, you are pretty much ready to go. What you will do is then put your project on your board, on your router, and you will move your router bits into position to get your 000, zero point. That would be this area right here. So the router bit is zeroed wherever it's supposed to be zeroed at. Click zero. You'll click this X to make that number go zero. Same with the Y, and same with that Z, and you are ready to go. Typically, I rehome my machine after I set my zeros, so I'll hit that button again. You'll go to File, Open, which is way over here in the corner. By the way, you can move these things around just like that, but you hit File, Open, get your G-code file that you generated from whatever software you had, select it, and your image of that file of all the toolpaths will show up here in this window here. And then all you have to do is turn your CNC router on, and right here is your start button. You press that, and it'll start to move according to the G code that has been generated. Now, just a little note. Right next to it is the stop button, and then right next to that is the pause button, which drives me crazy. Because sometimes you just want to pause your program in the middle for whatever reason. And I've inadvertently hit the stop button many times. And the problem with that is when you hit that stop button, you have ended the program. It resets the, the G-code program. And you basically have to start over or edit your G-code to eliminate all those moves that you've done before. So... Be aware that you want to use the pause button. Now, one of the things I've done is I've set the def defaults on my keyboard so that I don't have to come up here and hit it. And I believe that you do that through, I can't remember, uh, either tools. Yeah, tools and options, I believe, is where you get that set up. And there's your keyboard command thing. And it's a very nice, broken out structure. I will do a deep dive on Universal G Code Center later in a video this is just for william to help him find out where the start button is right there my friend all right this is garrett if this video helped you out give me a thumbs up i hope you have a great day better tomorrow and happy cnc -ing.